Hurricane season is well underway and it's making big news right now. So let's be prepared if you're not already. Quick thing, Ian, this big boy looks like it would be coming to Florida's Gulf side around Thursday morning or maybe earlier. So first thing for our friends in Orlando, in Central Florida. Usually hurricanes mellow out for the inner parts of the state. In the last 20 years, Disney World has only closed six times for a hurricane, three times in 04. Central Florida has a 60 to 80% chance of seeing a tropical storm's force winds. If you're driving to Orlando, Rosen Inn International is having distress rates for residents starting at $69, right by Universal. Before the storm, sign up for local alerts. Have a place to shelter and a go bag ready if needed. Have enough for emergency supplies for everyone, including any pets. Invest in a solar charging brick. They're still on when the power won't be. The National Hurricane Center updates every six hours, so be sure to keep an eye on checking for any new developments. During the storm, have your go bag ready if advised to evacuate. Stay away from windows. Remember, things can be flying around over 100 miles per hour. Like Master Obi-Wan says, have the high ground if there's a flood warning. And turn around, don't drown. You never know how deep water is, especially on roads. When authorities say it's good to return back, look out for downed power lines and unstable trees. Check with authorities if tap water is safe to drink. And if you have to remove heavy debris from your property, wear heavy duty gloves and boots as many plants are surprisingly sharp and have insects still on them. For more tips on staying safe, check the description for FEMA's recommendations to prepare for a hurricane. Let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst.